Can you tell me which one of my eyes took me just three minutes while the other took me 15 minutes? Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. I've always said that there's no rules to makeup, but there's always an easy way to do any makeup. Sometimes things look complicated. You can simplify them. I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a traditional foxy eye in less than three minutes. If you enjoy easy hacks, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, without further delay, let's begin. To demonstrate today's technique, I'm going to be using the double entendre palette. This is by ColourPop. On my left side, I'm going to show you how it's usually done. And I like to do it like that sometimes when I have that extra time. Using the shade Teddy Bear with a small angled brush, I'm going to first pull out a wing in the outer corner. I'm doing this by extending my lower lash line in the same direction. And then I'm going to start shading that eyeshadow towards the lid. And then I'm using a small shader brush to soften this further so I can use an other eyeshadow over it. With the same brush, I'm going to dip into Draft, a beautiful metallic copper shade, and I'm going to press it directly on top of the eyeshadow where we softened it. So that way it easily blends into the deeper shade of brown that we just applied. And then I'm also going to start pushing this eyeshadow towards the center of the lid. I'm using a blending brush to soften this further by pushing it more towards the center of the lid. And then I'm going to be using Teddy Bear in the outer half of my lower lash line, joining it to my upper lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Ofra Liquid Liner Pen in black. I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line. You can also just do a wing in the outer corner and you don't have to line your lash line when you do a foxy eye. But I like to line my lash line because it gives a thicker band effect and I like that. I'm going to dust off all the fallout and then I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow. This is called Let's Do It. It's by ColourPop. I'm going to use it in the outer corner to get a smoky wing. Using the concealer, I'm going to clean up the edge so it looks sharp and nice. Using Keep It PG, I'm going to highlight my inner corner as well as brow bones. When I do tutorials, I do cut out redundant parts that can bore anybody. So this process usually takes me about 15 minutes up until here. Now let me show you how you can get the same look in three minutes. Of course, I need my office scotch tape. You can use any kind of tape that you prefer. This is a lifesaver. It works like a stencil and it creates magic. I'm going to stick it in the outer corner as an extension of my lower lash line again. You see where I'm going with this. And then I'm going to be using my favorite sponge tip applicator. Now this, my friends, packs a punch. It picks up a lot of color. So I'm going to first dip into Teddy Bear and I'm going to swipe it once in the outer corner. Now you don't have to be precise while doing this because that sticky tape in the outer corner is going to take care of that for you. And then dipping into draft and I'm going to swipe it right on top of that brown eyeshadow. And it should look something like this. Another lifesaver is this brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. It's fluffy like a blending brush, but at the same time, it's stiff. It's not as flexible as a blending brush. All I'm going to do is dab and press over both the eyeshadows and it blends like a dream. Rather than you blending each of the eyeshadows, the brush is going to work for you. And if you want to add more eyeshadow to this, you can swipe again and you can dab again. It's as simple as that. And because we have that tape, the fallout is on that tape and not on your face. While still keeping that tape in the outer corner, I'm going to use my eyeliner by joining my outer corner to the lash line and then using it on my lash line. 
So the straightening up of the wing in the outer corner is taken care of again by the tape. And then I'm using the black eyeshadow again to smoke it out in the outer corner. Let's go ahead and remove the tape and as you can see that's a pretty neat straight edge and to clean up underneath all I'm going to do is use a dry sponge and press it and that's going to quickly neaten up everything. And then using Keep It PG I'm going to highlight my inner corner as well as brow bone. And that my friends was super quick and can you really tell the difference between the two eyes? Maybe if you observe very closely maybe or maybe because I've told you maybe because you've seen but otherwise if you went to a party or an event with one eye done 15 minutes the other eye three minutes can people really tell let me know in comments to finish up I'm using the anti-gravity mascara by Milani before I use the Tati lashes in TL19 And here's one eye versus the other. My eye shapes are so different. So ignore that and just look at the eye makeup. Can you tell a difference? To finish up this look, I'm going to be using this stunning lip color by Ofra Cosmetics. It's the long lasting liquid lipstick in Henna. And I've mentioned this several times. Ofra liquid lipsticks are not only long lasting. They are super comfy. They don't feel like anything on the lips. You know how some liquid lipsticks feel like plastic on the lips? This feels like nothing. And then I'm going to top it off with the Ofra lip gloss in Scorpio. Here's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Let me know in comments if there's another look that you find extremely complicated. I promise you I will simplify it for you. So let me know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you'd like to watch more videos like these. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for an exciting playlist on all the hacks that I've learned over the years coming up right after this video in the end screen. I'll see you soon. Bye.